Three years later, the nation remains divided over the events of that day. Defending the peaceful transfer of power um, has become partisan. Defending democracy has become partisan. And, and it shouldn't be that way. You know. While in lockdown in his office for eight hours, Congressman Sean Kasten did not have the complete picture of what was happening. You are aware that there's all this violence. You're seeing, you're looking at the world through little tiny straws and trying to piece together what you make from the noise you hear outside, what you're seeing on the computer, what you're, you know, what you're hearing and, and trying to piece it all together. On the morning of this anniversary, the FBI raided a Florida ranch where it captured three January 6 fugitives. One had been on the run for two years. The others did not show up for their trials this past summer. More than 1,200 people have faced charges following the Capitol attack, which happened as Congress was preparing to certify Joe Biden's election victory. Five people died during and immediately after the riot. More than 100 Capitol Police officers were injured. We all know who Donald Trump is. The question we have to answer is, who are we? That's what's at stake. Who are we? President Biden, in his first campaign speech of the year, called the siege the day we nearly lost America. My office will seek a speedy trial so that our evidence can be tested in court and judged by a jury of citizens. Trump has pleaded not guilty to four federal charges as part of the special counsel's investigation into the former president's role in the insurrection. Soon, the Supreme Court will hear arguments on whether Donald Trump can be kept off ballots. It agreed to examine a provision of the 14th Amendment that bars people who engaged in an insurrection from holding public office. There's no question but that Trump's actions are clearly consistent with what the folks who wrote the 14th Amendment after the Civil War intended that this type of behavior should permanently ban someone from public office. As we come into the next election, will we have people in positions of power who will put the interests of, of America above their own parochial political interests? Um, I hope so. Judy Wang, WGN News.